them now! Where'd he run off to? He can't have gotten far! Split up and find him! <clears throat> hey, what the hell? It's a shame. I was gonna save you the trouble and take him out myself. Jeez, Hajime-kun, you're way too fast for me. I was carrying out my duty, nothing more. <laughs> yeah, but at least you could have let him kill our new friend in the alley first. Guess that gives you another duty to perform, Hajime. Killing is part of our job, but not before judgments are handed down. Consider yourself lucky. Listen, stay right there. Try and run and I won't hesitate. I'm on my way to Kyoto. Please take care of yourself while you're gone. The capital isn't exactly the safest place to be right now. Oh my goodness. Chizuru. I'll do what I can to send word back to you when time allows me. Will that be alright? Mm -hmm. Here. Hmm? <laughs> Well, look who's awake, Risky. Yeah. Go get Hichikata son and everyone else. Right. I got it. Hichikata son, he's up. What do you want to do? Don't try and scream. Promise me that you won't make a disturbance. <laughs> Sorry, all right, treating you this way. Now then, who are you anyway? We took a look at your belongings. Now, how do you know Kodo-san, and what's your business with him? My father 
So why are you asking about him? What? Uh, that's surprising. Are you saying that we really have Kodo-san's daughter here? Uh, yeah. Hmm. If you are, then tell us where he is. That's why I'm here. He said he'd send word, but it's been six months. And here I am. I left my home in Edo, and I tried looking for him. And all of a sudden, those masterless samurai... It doesn't sound like she's lying to us, you know what I mean? So what should we do with her, Commander? Well, common sense might work here. If we all agree she's in Kodo's family, then it might be helpful to not be so rude to her. Hmm. Can we discuss this outside? Hmm? It's decided. We'll defer any judgments about her until tomorrow. <gasps> Heisuke, you'll stand watch on her, so she doesn't leave. Huh? Uh, yeah, got it. Well, damn. It's a shame we're not gonna kill her. <gasps> Soji, stop screwing around, will you, man? Hijikata-san, do you mind if I go on tire now? Hmm. I wouldn't think of running away if I were you. You try running and you'll be dead before you know it. Give me a second, all right? What the hell is going on with this? <sighs> Damn it, Soji. Why'd you tie it so tight for? <sighs> Excuse me. Could you tell me where we are now? Uh, mm, the Shinsengumi's headquarters. <laughs> the Shinsengumi? <sighs> My dad, how did the Shinsengumi know him? I, uh, hey, it's already getting late. Why don't we pick it up some other time? <sighs> There's a futon in the closet, so go ahead and use it. And I'll be out here. Oh, yeah. By the way, my name is Toto. I'm SK Toto. But just call me SK, all right? <gasps> my circulation's coming back. I should thank you for that. My name is Chizuru Yukimura. All right. Chizuru it is. The hell are you doing? Huh? Shh, shh. Huh? What do you think, Sonan? I did a handwriting comparison. And their styles are nearly identical to each other. Uh, that letter you're holding. This is from last summer. There was a fire at Kodo's medical clinic there. Huh? We haven't heard anything from him since that incident took place. But he can't. Nobody was found at the scene either. So there just might be another incident in play here. These items were picked up from the ruins of the fire. Feel free to look and see if there's anything familiar to you. Uh, I remember this. I gave it to my father when he left Edo. Yes, of course. If you want it, we'll certainly let you have it, Miss Yukimura. You said you know him. So tell me if he's all right or not. We haven't ruled out the possibility that he's still alive. He's valuable as a practitioner of Western medicine. Do you know of any places he might go if he were in trouble? <laughs> I see. Well then. Why don't we try this? If you want to, why don't you join us in searching for your father and stay with the rest of us? Huh? You'd let me stay here? You're not being entirely truthful now. After what she saw in that back alley, she really only has two choices left to her. She either helps us or we kill her now. <gasps> Come on now. There's no need to threaten her like that. <sighs> she is in Kodo's family. So let's go ahead and treat her like we trust her, Toshi-san. 
We're worried just as much about what happened to him as you are. We'll be happy to do it if you want our help. But it's not going to be easy for you. Just be ready to get your hands dirty. You can count on me. Please treat me well. Right. As of now, the Shinsengumi have extended their protection to you. Listen to me. From here on out, as long as you wish to stay with us, you will be treated as one of the men. So you're now a man. And don't you ever expect us to give you special treatment. Sir! Good for you, Chizuru! <laughs> well, it looks like we finally got things ironed out. I really didn't want to have to go killing a girl, you know. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> My name's Shimpachi Nagakura. Looking forward to working with you, Chizuru-chan. Right! And so am I. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. Master, what exactly is this girl's place going to be within our rank structure? <sighs> It probably makes the most sense for her to be someone's servant. The commanders or the deputy commanders. Not so fast, Hijikata-san. Huh? You came <laughs> up with the idea, so you should probably take her as your servant. What? <laughs> She'll be a lot safer around you. Uh, that makes sense. Do your best to look after her, all right, Hijikata-kun? Huh? Wait, hey, wait a minute! So, who's up for some tea? Okay, you two have fun. <laughs> Father. What is it? Let me go with you. I'd really like to help you with this. I know you know him, but I can recognize him right away. Please take me with you. I won't be any trouble. Listen, you. Do you even know how dangerous a patrol can be? You're practically asking us to babysit you out there. I wouldn't dare, but please. My father told me that I should protect myself, so I went and studied self-defense. You don't say you have fighting skills? Then I will put them to the test. Follow me. Hajime usually doesn't test someone's skill like this. Come on. All right, attack me. And please try to use your best effort. Yes, but sir, I don't want to hurt you. And your health is really important to me. <laughs> I think you're a little full of yourself to tell Hajime that. Gotta give you credit for Moxie, though. It's nothing to laugh about, you know? Swords are really dangerous. Yeah, but if your skills are any good, we might actually think about taking you on patrol with us once in a while. Huh? If you're really that worried about causing me some harm, just use the dull side. Uh, I understand, sir. Ready? Now. <laughs> One second away from losing your head. Still need to learn, I think. Thank your swordsmanship, teacher. Your sword doesn't hesitate. That's a good thing. You certainly have skill, and I don't think we'll end up having to babysit you, as some people might say. <sighs> that was his way of saying you're going on patrol. I've never seen someone get the okay that quick. Right, Hijikara-san? Hmm. You've been approved to go out on patrol with us, but obey your commander's orders to the letter. You got that? <sighs> Understood, sir. Thank you very much.
hear about it? Apparently, the First Division raided monsters. I did. I also heard the suspects were arrested and taken to Maikawa, and the Vice Commander is looking into this himself. Yeah. Shizuru. Haruda-san! Uh, bad news today. But they asked me to tell you not to go on patrol with us. Why? What's going on? Really can't say. Just go to your room and don't ask anyone any questions, okay? I mean it. Yeah, sure. Shimida, is there still no word from Aizu or the Shogun's representative? No, sir. Toshi, let's do this one alone, all right? We have to keep up with the rogue. We can't let any of them escape us. Rumor has it they want to burn Kyoto down. Understood. But once we take off, we're gonna finish them off, right? Yeah, you got that right. We'll split our forces. Me and my troops will take the Ikeda in. And the Vice Commander's unit will press their assault on Shikoku in. Works for us. Shinsengumi, be ready for battle! Yes, sir! something for us. Look, I'm sorry about this, but all our space is booked up today. Okay, I get it. Well then, I guess I'll try somewhere else. Maybe next time. Ah, come on inside. Right now, all of us are putting every resource we have into hunting down the rogue samurai who are plotting to burn the capital to the ground since the Choshu were excused from the court. Deputy Commander. Yamazaki-kun? What have you got for us? I believe I just saw a group of the rogue samurai meeting at Ikeda Inn on Shijo. Ikeda? There's another factor in this, especially if we don't have more information from Aizu. And at the present time, we don't. I'm sorry, sir. What do you mean? This might be a little disturbing to you, but it's been reported that a man was seen with Kodo-san's looks, and they're saying he was quite near the Ikeda Inn recently. Do you think the information's good? No, sir. We haven't verified anything. What lousy timing. We're still gonna need to get this information to the Vice Commander as soon as possible. I'm on my way. We're racing against time, and we don't have a lot of people we can trust to let Kondo-san know about it. I'd do it myself if I didn't have to worry about my arm. But, sir... Huh? Couldn't I take a message to him? I'm free! Does this also have something to do with the rumor about your father? Yes, it does. All right, then. Get to Commander Kondo and tell him to wait until we can get Hijikata-san's forces to join him. I will, sir! Yamazaki-kun sure is late. Yeah, he is. What are we gonna do, Kondo-san? We can't let these guys escape and go to Kyoto. <sighs> of all the damn luck. We'll be going in on our own, gentlemen. We're ready, sir. Hmm? Under the authority of Aizu, we are the Shinsengumi. The Bakufu are raiding us. <laughs> what the hell? Prepare yourselves for questioning! Stand down now, or we'll cut you down where you stand! Message from Sun and Sun. There's still no word from Aizu, 
So I wanted you to wait until Hijikata's men got here to help you. My thanks for the message. However, we're already committed. Uh, uh, Yukimura-kun, do you know how to make a bandage? Yes. All right. I'm going to be leaving now. And do whatever you want. Take your demon through the front, Saito. Go around the back, Harada. Now! Got it. Don't let any of them leave! You cut down anyone who resists! Huh? Well, guess who's just sauntering in? Lackeys. Then who are you supposed to be? Call us the Shinsengumi. We're in the process of securing this inn from the rogue samurai. And we don't need your help, got it? Who do you think you are? The stinking wolves of Mibu are the law here, we are! You know what? The stinking wolf has a warning. If you want to live, you better stay out of there, got it? Anyone inside that inn who isn't wearing our uniform stands the risk of getting killed right now. So be a good bureaucrat and stay back! Gentlemen. We can do this without any bloodshed between us. If you leave now, I give you my solemn word that I won't take your lives without cause in the future. What? After we discovered your plot to burn down the city? You're not getting away! Assuming I'm associated with the Choshu domain is mistaken. Fine. I'll wait to get the answers I want after you're bleeding on the floor! <laughs> 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 Dance with me? Yeah! Son of a bitch. No, let's get. Guess you thought you were gonna sneak out this way. So, where's the harm in letting a coward run like the yellow dog he is? If you want someone to have fun with, then let's play. I've never been worried about playing with anyone, but only a coward walks into a fight like this using a gun. <laughs> oh, I'm the coward here? That weapon of yours is a projectile too, if you use it right. I guess you have a point. <laughs> wow, you really have a lot of courage. But charging in like that isn't good for your health. And neither is using underhanded tricks. All it does is make you a half-assed warrior and a man. You may be right. You're pretty good, you know that? I'm Kyo Shiranui. You got a name too, Mr. Longspear? I'm the captain of the Shinsengumi's 10th unit, Sanosuke Harada. <laughs> You're competent, boy. Not bad for a human being. <laughs> this is really amusing to me. The fact that you're trying to fight me. Glad you think so. But I just need my enemies to shut up and die, all right? <laughs> Your persistence is starting to annoy me, human. I've stopped the bleeding. Just hang on for a while, all right? Father. I really wouldn't advise that. I don't need your advice. <laughs> What are you, anyway? <laughs> Wait! Don't walk away! 
away from me when you haven't won yet! So you're telling me you have a death wish? I usually don't grant wishes! I'll see you soon! <clears throat> Stand aside. I won't do it! You're one of us. Why are you siding with the humans? I'm guessing this fact was kept from you somehow. Since no one bothered to tell you, you'll learn. Yukimura! Soji! Who are you? Tell me! Mom? You demand a name from me without telling me who you are? Toshizo Hichikata, the Shinzengumi second! Uh, uh, and I am Chikage Kazuma. I'll leave the little one with you for now since it seems to suit her. Uh, I suggest you treat her well. Uh, what? He disappeared. Uh, Soji! Are you alright? What in the hell do you think you're doing here? Uh, I was sent here. Didn't you just get cut? Let me see. Uh, no, I'm okay. <sighs> Vice Commander. How's Heisuke doing? He took a severe blow to the head, but he's fine. That's good then. Do what you can to look in on the rest of our men. Right. Secure the captured and take them back to headquarters. I need our spies to look for everyone who got away. Right. It's time for the rest of us to get out of here. Yes, yes sir. sir. This raid has certainly enhanced our reputation. The Bakufu and Kyoto are standing up and taking notice. That's all well and good, Kondo-san. But Soji and Heisuke were beaten, and we failed to defeat the rest of the enemy. Speaking of the rest of the enemy, I ended up fighting one of those monsters. So there's another one of those guys running around loose out there. For what it's worth, you guys, we're tracking down the ones that got away. Hmm. Here. Ah, oh, thank you. How are the wounded doing right now, Shimada-san? It looks like Yukimura-kun did a good job field dressing. Captain Okita and Captain Toto owe her a big debt of thanks for what she did. And as far as the condition of the rest of our soldiers and officers go, it's not good. Understood. Hmm. Oh yes, you haven't seen these men before, but Yamazaki and Shimada are intelligence agents with us. You saw me a little last night. Nonetheless, my name is Susumu Yamazaki. And I'm Kai Shimada, miss. I'm Chizuru Yukimura, sir. I'm looking forward to working with you. Crazy. Everything last night, including seeing you coming out of the inn. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I'm sorry about that. Don't apologize. It's okay. You did a great service out there. Totokun, Soji, would be a lot worse off if it wasn't for you. Uh, now that I think about it, it was probably a real blessing in disguise for us that Kodosan didn't get caught up in that fight, you know? Yeah. Well, I was hoping that we'd fewer people hurt out there. Nevertheless, we did one hell of a job. Hell yeah! Well, I suppose with results like that, we can justify the risks we incurred, right? Mm. Son and son. <laughs> so tell me, what's on your mind, Toshi? I need to take advantage of your studious nature. Might there be any kind of fury that walks during the daytime? If I fully understand what you're asking me, you're referring to the men who got away? Uh, no. I don't even dare say it out loud. But it definitely made me wonder if something like that was possible. 
Anything's possible, I suppose. Uh -uh. The water of life that's come into our possession is something that was introduced to us by Western doctors. I suppose it's a matter of how much time went into researching it. Otherwise, I might have actually said no to that question of yours. But yes, I think it's possible. <laughs> this is strange. I really am healing faster than I did before. You're one of us. Why are you siding with the humans? What did he mean by that? Ito Dono, we've been waiting for you. I consider your personal greeting a privilege. I'm truly honored. So that's our new military advisor? He's Kashitaro Ito. Rumor says he's pretty good with the sword. I've heard Ito's on the Revere the Emperor expel the barbarian side of things. That doesn't bode well for us if we bring him in. So that tells me this guy's just a troublemaker like those Choshu idiots. Just watch your back, okay? He looks like the kind of guy that'd stick a dagger in it. We're expecting new people to join our ranks soon. So we need to find a new headquarters to accommodate the expansion and get it done quickly. I suggest Nishi Hongguanji <laughs> Temple. <clears throat> a small reminder. The temple serves as a base for rogue samurai like the Choshu. I really don't think they'd be happy to see us there, Itodono. That's why it's a perfect fit. <laughs> It has more than enough space to make room for our expected recruits, and it's close to the center of the city. And also, we can use their political cause against them. No one would dare attack us in the temple, and that includes the Choshu, for sure. That's a good point. Do you really want to use force in a place of worship, sir? You have to realize what kind of damage that would do to our reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the capital. It's not realistic to think you can have justice there without force. I'm certain the deputy commander would agree, wouldn't he? Look, I understand your desire to play things safe. It just makes sense. Makes sense? Considering your current condition, I'd alter my strategy if I were you. Since you can't live properly as a swordsman, I mean. You've had to replace swordsmanship with strategic know-how. Ito-san, just what do you mean by this? Uh, what do I mean? You were definitely right when you said San and San is a brilliant strategist. But that's not all. The Shinsengumi are still honored to have and need his swordsmanship. <laughs> Ijikara-kun. Uh, I'm still having trouble with my arm. Oh dear, that was rude of me, wasn't it? I should have realized, of course. The most important thing is for you to get better. Take care of your arm. <laughs> Nevertheless, Ito-san has a good point. The Nishi Hangwanji Temple should work out well, but what do you gentlemen think? I'm prepared to entertain any ideas, huh? Oh. Um, I brought tea. We have a new gifted officer in our ranks, and it looks like the deputy commander is no longer needed. Is there something I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping there was something I could do for you now. I guess I looked a little pitiful back there then, am I right? <laughs> I think it's about time I showed you this. It's time to eat. Who 
are these people, Master? All of them are victims of Kodosan's medical research. Right now, I'm giving them a drug that keeps them from wanting blood. I know you've already seen what happens when the medicine wears off, right? It's a fluid taken by mouth, and we believe Westerners introduced us to it. We call this medication the Water of Life, and those who have been transformed by it are called Furies. We were told that our men who had taken the drug were going to become a new source of strength for the Shinsengumi because of their superhuman strength and their abilities to heal quickly. That's right. The men you saw in the alley used to be Shinsengumi. Once they found out, the Bakufu ordered us to find a solution to the problem. Toto-san was given a free hand to use our soldiers as his test subjects, and one by one, they all turned into these pitiful creatures. Obviously, his disappearance didn't help things any. Without an actual scientist here, we had to stop the research on it. He left notes, and I did what I could to study them, to make this a better medicine for everyone. So here I am now, wondering whether or not the healing power of the Furies might give my arm back to me. Wondering? You're still valuable, son and son! Please don't I can't try. keep on living my life as half a man who can't even hold his own sword. I'm holding the only hope I have left to be useful in my hand, now! That just isn't true! The Shinsengumi still rely on you! I have to die as a swordsman, not like some creature who can barely face himself every day. I'm gonna take my one chance to die as a man. Don't do it! <laughs> doing here, huh? Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, I see. Hijikata-san, what the hell just happened in here? Damned if I know. So how's Sanan? It looks like he went and took the water of life and became a fury. It's not good. Damn it. Don't let anyone else inside the storeroom. I'll send a relief later on. But keep your eyes on Sun and Sun. Understood, Ujikata san. Come on. What in the hell are you anyway? And you were injured in the middle of our last battle, weren't you? <sighs> Nobody I know heals that quickly. You have to be a fury or something like it. You better stop playing games with me right now. All right. As far as I know, I've always had this power inside me. And my father told me I should never tell anyone I have this power either. Vice Commander. Just let me keep on searching for my father. I have questions for him. What is this power of mine? Does it mean I'm something other than a human being, Hichikata-san? My father did all this for a reason. Whatever it is, I have to find out for myself. To learn about what I should really be. Please, Hichikata-san. <sighs> all 
all these powers you have, is Sun and Sun aware of them as well? Probably. It makes sense. Don't start thinking I'm going to trust you now. However, for the time being, I won't tell anyone else here about your secret. And I'm telling you to do the same. Just keep your secret, and I'll keep you safe. How's Sun and Sun doing? It looks like he's calmed down now, but I don't think he's regained his awareness, Gusto. I see. No way. It happened right after you got back from Edo. But I think it's better to tell you instead of just you finding out. So what you're saying is, the water of life really works? Yeah. My hand works, and I can grip a sword. Okay. Well, that's good. But I gotta know, why are we telling everyone Son and Son is dead? That's kind of dishonest, isn't it? We don't need outsiders knowing about it just yet. And just so we're clear about it, Ido and his people don't need to know about the drug either. Huh? Investigating the medicine was a secret order from the Bakufu. It's our secret, and I intend to keep it that way even if I have to go out of my way to deliberately mislead members of our unit. <sighs> Heisuke-kun? Huh? Welcome back, Heisuke. Chizu. Uh, is something wrong? No, I'm fine. It's like I took off to Edo, and everything's all different now. And I was wondering if there were problems with Ito's guys. You probably didn't know, but I'm the one who introduced him to Kondo-san. I don't want to think that Son and Son took the water of life because of that guy's big mouth. Wouldn't it make me responsible for it, too? He made his own choice about taking that drug. If anyone else is to blame for what happened to Son and Son, it's my father. Son and Son couldn't have done it if the drug wasn't there. <sighs> Things are just getting stranger, aren't they? If your esteemed clan will support me, then I'm willing to prosecute this matter with extreme prejudice. For loyalists, I'm willing to lend as many men and materials as you need. <laughs> I'm glad I can count on you. I respect your promise. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, there's a rumor going around about the Shinsengumi, and since you're currently keeping company with them... Oh, and what would that be exactly? Kazuma, wait a moment. We're supposed to be bodyguarding. <laughs> I think you can forgive me if I don't stand there and watch them drink. And also, I really wasn't in much of a mood to watch more humans doing their usual plotting, scheming, and betraying of each other. I don't understand what that girl is thinking, saying she really wants to live among them. By that girl, you mean the female devil from Ikida? Yes, her. It's ridiculous for her to be waiting on those men. My pride as a devil won't allow it. Hmm. All right, Shizuru. We'll be back in just a little while. Right. Be safe out there, all right? Suji, take care of Shizuru for us. Yeah, sure. You're kind of overdoing the whole guardian thing, aren't mm -hmm. you? Sorry, I didn't get all that. Because I didn't say anything. <laughs> You're looking for a doctor of Western medicine? No. Sorry to bother you. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Do you need help? I take it you're his companion, right? What were you thinking, leaving him alone? He's obviously sick, isn't he? 
I'm sorry. Uh, um... Look, she didn't know about it. Let's keep it civil, all right? All right, then. I'm sure you had a good reason to keep it from your friend. One more thing. May I ask your name? I'm Chizuru Yukimura. And, uh, I'd like to give you a new handkerchief to replace the one you gave us right now. I just need your name and address. You can call me Kaoru Nagumo. And consider the handkerchief a gift from me. Who knows? If the fates are kind to us, we might even meet again someday. Chizuru, son. Okura-san, how long have you been sick? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> how long have you been coughing up blood like this? <laughs> you're being weird, you know. No, you're the one who's weird. And you've got a fever, too. It looks a lot like... You're right. It's tuberculosis. <laughs> Just remember one thing. Tell anyone, and I'll have to kill you. I didn't want to be right about that. Well, the doctor seems to agree with you. Not that I put a lot of stock in what they say anyway. <laughs> well, you need to listen to them. Right now, you need to be in bed. Even if that means leaving the Shinsengumi, you've got to think of your health first. That's not happening. <laughs> what do you mean by that? With the world and the shape that it's in, there aren't a lot of things I can do with myself. Fighting alongside my brothers is what gives my life meaning. And that's that. If I really only have a little bit of time left to me, then I have to keep on doing what gives me purpose. Okita son. All right. I won't tell anyone about you being sick, but you need to promise me some things too. Don't drink so much sake. And you need to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. He's up there, Mother Hen. Uh... I guess I could kind of do what you say and only have candy once in a while. Hey. The water of life. You think it might cure tuberculosis? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Are you ready to go home? So you and your men are leaving the Shinsengumi? An interesting choice of words. More of an intelligent redeployment of forces. Silver tongue aside, you're completely full of shit. All right, since you'd prefer to be confrontational about this, would you care to tell me what you're hiding from me? After all, I'm still one of your senior officers, aren't I? Hiding from you? Soldiers gossip, after all. Normally it doesn't matter, but a rumor like this definitely got my attention. It was about a dead man coming back to life, your deputy commander. <laughs> Now, of course, a rumor is just that. But this one led me to investigate, and it seems like there's a little truth to it. In any case, I thought I'd discuss it with you. Well, you're smart. So basically, you're saying your spies out foxed our spies, and now you're going to try and hold it over our heads. Fine. Let's talk, then. What exactly would you do if we were to say that those rumors have no basis in fact? I would most happily keep those secrets to myself, as long as you keep the details of my leaving to yourself. Uh, uh, what's that? Then I suppose we should assume your mind is made up. I don't mind if you take it as such. You heard everything. Are you fine with that? Saito-san? I wonder how many times the cherry blossoms of Kyoto have fallen on schedule like this. Time passes, and many things change. The workings of the world, ideologies, and also the Shinsengumi. Saito-san, you're going to leave us because it's all changed? It is. The unchanging things in which I believe. Hajime-kun! 
Sorry to make you wait. Ah, Shizuru. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to stay with you. We had to search and find Kodo-san. <laughs> Imperialism. Or sticking with Bakufu. Either one of those choices is a tough one to make, you know? Of course, when the guy asking you is the one you said would make a good officer, you don't just say, yeah, sure, whatever, Master Ito, you know? <clears throat> Come on, stop making that face, all right? She's at you. Take care of yourself, Heisuke kun. Yeah. You too, Chizuru. What in the world are you two thinking getting drunk out here? Oh, what's up, Chizuru? You wanna tie one on? Dumbass. You ought to know by now she doesn't drink. You trying to make her into an alcoholic? Mm. Come on, man. I'm just saying, a little company wouldn't hurt, you know. And who's nicer than Chizuru? Well, yeah. Anyway, you think Heisuke Kun's doing all right? Go back to your room, Chizuru. Let's go! Yeah. It's been a while since I've been in the realm of men. You couldn't have found a more disgusting place to live. Do me a favor and hang out here. Yeah, go have fun. Someone's breached our security perimeter. It's not safe. Please get back into your room. That won't stop me. Mm -hmm. ready for me to beat your ass. Well, if it isn't you! Harakun, who is this man and why is he disturbing us? He's one of those guys that got away from us at the Ikeda Inn, sir. That's interesting. I guess that means you're responsible for hurting Okita-kun and quite a few of our men. Oh, a fury. sword of yours. Oh my, are you related to Kodo? <laughs> and just how do you know my father exactly? You still think Yukimura Sensei's your father? <laughs> You'll understand everything if you come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, we're done here with our business, gentlemen. Come on now, you're just gonna take her? The longer she stays, the more she'll wind up becoming concerned with their lives. I'm taking her back where she belongs, so she doesn't have to deal with their pain. Leave her alone! <laughs> What kind of idiot points his blade at me? A traveling jester? I'm ready if you are. Why do you look surprised, swordsman? If you'd open your eyes and look, you'd see how easy it is for me. What? Like her, both my friend and I are what you call devils. She's wasted here on people like you. That's quite an interesting story. 
but she's entrusted her safety to the Shinsengumi. And she's staying right here! Just look at your friend there, pretending to be one of us. I'll be damned if I let her stay here with one of them! a devil like you protecting a man like him listen to me i'm not a devil or anything like it leave this place at once so you're gonna try to tell me you're not a devil tell me what your name is then i'm chizuru yukimura a thousand cranes in your name your given name and the family name of yukimura happens to belong to the most powerful family of devils on the east side of this island your name and your sword are the only proof i need Just look at those fangs. Do you really still think you're one of them? I don't care what you say. I don't care. <laughs> You've brought your ignorance to the den of the wolves of Miburo. This is a place to become a warrior, and a warrior becomes a protector. And when we say someone's under our protection, we mean it. Ichikata-san. You heard him. And you heard me! I'm not gonna go anywhere with you, got it? And all you are boring me. It's time to go. Well, it looks like someone's being selfish, aren't they? Pardon the intrusion. I will, for now, leave you with this warning. Human beings and devils are not compatible. Other than that, do what you want. I'm sure you'll grow tired of her in time. Then I'll be more than happy to take her back into our ranks. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But I need so this Kazuma says work. she's a devil? Right. Yeah. She wasn't aware of it, was she? Gentlemen? Oh, sure. Here's the thing with it. I've seen that healing power manifest itself too many times. I don't think it was a trick. All right. Good work in there. Oh. Are you okay? You just look like you had a lot of stuff on your mind or something. Well, is it okay for me to be here? Huh? Everyone's helped, and all they've gotten is a lot of trouble. It's only natural for men to protect women, okay? You shouldn't ever have to worry about us doing that. You can't go blaming yourself for those clods trying to raid us. It's our job to be ready for a threat like that, no matter how powerful it is. <sighs> And in spite of all that, you were right there in the middle of it. You were helping us, even though there were a lot of swords flashing in there. That kind of tells me you belong here, no matter what those idiots try and tell you. <laughs> and you're always gonna be you. Saito! What in the hell are you doing here? As of today, Saito will be returning to his post in the Shinsengumi. So, what does he mean? Uh... I'll tell you. Toshi told him to go, and he's been inside of Ito's group as an intelligence agent. It looks like Ito has joined up with Satsuma. Their plan... is to find a way to assassinate the commander of the Shinsengumi. They want to do what? 
I'll get into the specifics of our plan later on. But Ito-san is a dead man. You are Kashitaro Ito? and the others sure are late tonight. You don't think they're out drinking again, do you? <laughs> I certainly don't think that. Yamazaki! Is Yamazaki huh? here? <laughs> we need a doctor out here right now! <laughs> hey, Skate, you're gonna be fine! Hang in there! What's going on here? <laughs> hey, Skate-kun! <laughs> hey, Skate was... Imperial Tomb Guard bastards. They're the ones who did this to him. All of these cuts are too deep. There's nothing else I can do for him. He's beyond help. No way. The poor boy. Everyone, I need all of you to leave the room, please. Son and son? You just said he was beyond help, didn't you, Yamazaki? If that's really the case, it's time, and he doesn't need company. His Kikun. Listen to me. Yamazaki says you're not gonna last much longer. Make your choice. Shizuru? Hey, kun How are you? I feel good. Almost so good that I'm disappointed in myself, you know? That's good to know. I went and brought you something. You hungry? Thanks, I am. So I guess I'm a fury now. <sighs> it's nothing to worry about. I took the medicine and didn't die, so that's what was supposed to happen. Hey, Skekun. And you know, I remember you holding my hand, Shizuru. I mean, it was so smooth and warm. Damn sure wasn't gonna let myself die. I guess you could say you actually went and nursed me back to life. Right. Thank you. Come on. Don't you think I'm the one who should be saying that? Thanks a lot, Shizuru. I mean it, okay? <laughs> the following are the orders of the Bakufu. Effective immediately. We will make the Fushimi Magistrate's office our headquarters and meet the Sacho army in battle wherever we end up finding them. The dignity of the Bakufu is at stake here, gentlemen, and this will be the deciding battle, and the Shinsengumi will always do what's right. Yeah! I haven't been in touch. I'm sorry about that. I need to ask you something. The Shinsengumi need your help. Uh -huh. Can you find a way to reverse the effects of the Water of Life? I'm afraid it can't be done. 
You had to already know, didn't you, Chizuru? The purpose of that drug was to create more devils like us. We can't regain the power our people used to have without the right number of fellows in our ranks exercising their own particular powers. Who are we? You and I. We're descendants of a race of devils who have been in the world of men since ancient times. <laughs> and you are the last survivor from our greatest bloodline. I've been doing this all for you and our family, my child. What? What are you trying to say? Isn't it obvious? We're here to let you reclaim your freedom. The Shinzengumi who became Furies are nothing but primitive failures. Thanks to the domains of westernized Japan, there is hope for my Fury research. The Shogunates are failing, Chizuru. Leave the Shinzengumi and come join us in our Odyssey. That's impossible. I can't do it. They'll betray you, Chizuru. They always have. That's not the truth, and you know it! My friends, I've always been able to trust them. You're a doctor, aren't you, Father? Why would you do this to people who trust you? Come on, Uncle Kodo. Let's take her and get it done with. You know she's not gonna change her mind unless we do it for her, right? <laughs> get away from me! Don't make me do it! Oh my, you're going to hurt me? She said she doesn't want to go with you. Ichigata-san! <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen each other, Kodo-san. It certainly has, Hijikata-san. Fancy seeing you here. And what you just said, is it true? Eavesdropping, Hijikata? That's not very honorable. Neither is using the Shinsengumi as a test subject. But, on top of everything else you're saying, the Furies are a failure that can't be saved. That may be true, Master Hijikata, but it's a little too late for you to have reached the right conclusion. That's more than enough out of the both of you. I wouldn't interrupt again if I were you. Oh, really? We weren't planning on butting in, but this isn't a family reunion. Nagakura-san! Saito-san! However, there's only so much of this we're just gonna watch. Haruta-san! What do you know? It looks like we were having company all this time. Yes, you did. You win this round. And it's time for us to exercise the better part of valor. Uncle? Don't worry about it. We'll get another opportunity. <laughs> Just remember, I gave you a chance. <laughs> it's only smoke. They're still around here somewhere. Follow them! Right! right. I'm sorry. There's nothing for you to be sorry for, all right? But, sir, because of me... By being here, I'm definitely causing problems. I don't have the right to put everyone at risk like this. If you're really sure that you don't want to be with us anymore, you can go. Tell me now, what you're really feeling at this moment. We offer you our protection when you needed it. However, you owe us nothing, and you certainly can go. But I know you had to be thinking of us back there. Isn't that why you put your hand on your sword to fight? That's more than enough reason for you to stay. All right? We had just finished the war council at Nijo Castle, and that's when they shot him. So answer me this. Did you really feel like it was best to bring him here on horseback? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I couldn't protect him and find help for him. No. It was my fault because I couldn't persuade him to take more of us with him when he said he didn't need any guards. No one else's. Damned fatalistic. I finished doing what I can in terms of emergency treatment. However, 
As long as he makes it through the night tonight. Shinpachi, Harada, take anyone who is in flight on their back and investigate the scene of the shooting. Yes, yes sir. sir. The magistrate's office is yours, Kinsan. Understood. Yamazaki, stay with him and do what you can. Yes, sir. And if you have time later on, check on Sochi. Yes, sir. Understood. And whatever you do, don't tell him about Kondo-san. Fushimi Magistrate's office. Rattled as usual. I guess he's probably dead by now. Hmm? <laughs> Take him out! He's Shinsen Gumi! supposed to have you on your deathbed right now, but you went and took the water of life. I don't suppose you shot him. Of course not, but you might say I had more than a hand in the planet. Uh. <laughs> what are you trying to do anyway? I want everyone who's been feeding all those lies to Chizuru to die. Lying about what? How about the lies you told yourself about taking the water of life? Poor dumb fool, it doesn't cure tuberculosis. Like I care. I'll be happy enough. Once I take your head, punk. <laughs> Compliments on your move set. <clears throat> However, they're not gonna save you now. You dumbass. Still telling yourself lies, I see. <laughs> 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 me off. That wasn't the right kind of bull. What do you say we find out? silver ball round from the looks of it. Okay, but there has to be something else in it to keep Soji in bed like this. I'd have to say so. Anyone else who was using their fury power like he was should have shrugged that off and be up and walking right now. So they've got inside information on how to hurt a fury. Mm-hmm. At the very least, we should prepare to fight them that way. Pachi, keep on moving. We've got this. Come <laughs> on. 
damn it! I can't get the smell of blood out of my nose. I'm losing my humanity to this thing. <laughs> Got his ass! <laughs> Okay, so what's this? This is the last of the water of life. Just wait a minute. You're not ordering us to drink this, right? I hate to say it, but half of our troops were wiped out today, gentlemen. And if things keep going on like this, there won't be anything I can do to guarantee our safety. It's a suggestion. If things are looking down for all of you, use it if you'd rather keep on fighting instead. No way! I'm not doing that. I'm prepared to die in battle if that's what's necessary. Toshizan, we agreed that we would accept this order to test the drug from the Bakafu. And by we, I'm referring to Commander Kondo and myself. The rest of you shouldn't feel like you have any obligations other than the defense of the Bakafu and the Shogunate. Understood, Vice Commander. But now that you've chosen to share this with us as well, I can at least take some of this responsibility on myself. While a man should take all his responsibilities as they come, my time hasn't quite come yet. But I won't drink it now, if that's all the same to you. Well, it certainly makes an interesting choice to make. I imagine it'll bring me more luck than a charm. Protect all the wounded! And everyone else who isn't wounded, get in there and give them hell to pay! Here you go. So how goes the battle, sir? Anything new? Well, right now we're still waiting for Yamazaki to come back. I went and brought rice cakes. Oh, you're awesome. I'm good, thanks. Uh, Save what you can for the rest of the men, all right? Mm. <laughs> go ahead and take it, Kay. We really do have enough for everyone out there. Uh, Oh, yeah? Uh, Don't mind if I do. Thanks for the rice balls, Chizuru. Yes, of course. That's weak, acting like that. Dig in, Hijikata-san, okay? Thank you, Chizuru. Aren't you hungry, sir? No, but I will. <gasps> that was really freaking close. Yeah. I thought so. Someone hasn't been eating around here either, have they now? Ichikata-san! Come on, I haven't been pushing myself, so you really should hang on to it until you get hungry. And you look like you're hungry now. We've still got a war going on out there, and if you pass out from starvation, who's gonna take care of the wounded, hmm? Sir, look, I know when you ate last... Okay. Thank you kindly for sharing with me. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Sir. Uh, uh. Yamazaki san! Yamazaki! Uh, the Sacho army have new flags, and they're all ensigns belonging to the Emperor, sir. What did you say? <laughs> Sacho couldn't have gone turncoat like that. Well, it's obvious they did. Yamazaki doesn't come back with bad intelligence. The opposition's in power, and we're the rebels now. Toshisan. Well, looks like the table's finally been turned on us. We retreat. <sighs> that doesn't mean I'm conceding victory. They're gonna pay a heavy price for this. <sighs> Evacuate the wounded and get started on a new headquarters. Next thing, I need a courier to go to Yodo. Let me do it, sir. Huh? Let me go. I can't just sit around here right now. I'll go with her, Soji. <laughs> all right, all of you men, you need to go get some rest for a change, all right? You know I son. All right, then. Get going. Inoue, the 
the Imperial colors. We need to go, Chizaru. They. Get out of the way, <laughs> Chizuru! Oh, oh. You know my son! I'll be damned. It's a Shinsugumi uniform. I bet the Emperor would pay us a pretty penny for their heads right now. <laughs> Please, no! Yukimaru-kun, get out of here and get to Yodo. You know my son! And then, please tell Toshi-san, I'm sorry my own strength wasn't enough. I want him to forgive me for not being there at the end. <laughs> That's what's one less spindly like old man. And I want him to know that I am eternally grateful for one more chance to live a warrior's dream. Now then. <laughs> too late that Yodo had sided with the Emperor. I got here as quick as I could after I got the news, but I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to witness this. <laughs> Old friends in the Bakufu slicing each other to bits. I already know how this war is going to end, fools. Your friends in the Sacho army are flying the Emperor's flag, and his court is already in the business of making the samurai classes obsolete. All they spent in Edo's best swordsmanship schools just to wind up kneeling. But you are not a samurai, are you? Take my advice and leave the girl here with her own kind, all right? It's better for all of us. And of course, I'll let you live. Go back to hell. I made this girl a promise. So, we've got a problem. Are you really gonna stand there and lecture me about promises in your situation? You don't have the power, let alone the skill, to keep her away from me. Allow me to educate you in the ways the real world works. She got a son. Get back, Chizuru! <laughs> <laughs> Lord Kazuma, are you all right, sir? Commander Kazuma, uh, you're Shinsen Kumi. Ah, uh, the low life from Satsuma. It figures you'd be kneeling to take the scraps off the Emperor's plate. You're in my way. Way too slow. What? What was that? If you want to live, I'm telling you not to interfere in my fight again. Understood? <laughs> You're not gonna last very long with those bullet holes in you. Thank me. I'm gonna finish this quick, Jester. Stop it, please! <laughs> Hold it! 
You're really gonna do that? <laughs> do you realize how stupid you are right now? Yeah, maybe. But I'm kind of out of options right now. Turning into a fury isn't gonna help. You'll still be a phony devil. You'll never be a match for me. Well, what do you say? We put that theory of yours to the test! Tired of this garbage. The cowards in the Bakafu. Devils acting like they're special. And a swordsman who can't even protect one woman. Call me a fake if you want. I don't give a damn what you think. Being treated like a fake samurai group. That's what me and my people have always had to deal with. No one's ever going to steer us or force us off our righteous path of justice. So I'm a fake devil now, big deal. If I say I'm for real, then you have to deal with it! Come on, if you're so bad, why are you backing up? So how does it feel to get that porcelain face of yours scratched by a low-life fake like me? You little scum! I won't let you get away with this! That's more than enough, Kazuma. If you keep this up, the damage done to us in the world of men will be insurmountable. <clears throat> you said your name was Hijikata. Remember that you and I have unfinished business. Whatever you do, stay close to me. I'll keep my promise to protect you, guaranteed. And then we're going back to Edo, all right? Right. Are you scared? I'm not, as long as I'm here with you. Tina! 